field dry density for compaction control by sand replacement method covers the determination in place dry density in grams per cubic centimeter or kilograms per cubic meter of natural soil or compacted layers such as subgrade, embankment, GSB and WMM. Procedure Test Procedure A flat area approximately 45 cm square of the layer to be tested is exposed and trimmed down to a level surface. A metal tray with a central hole is laid on the prepared surface of the soil with the hole over the portion of the layer to be tested. A hole of 15 cm diameter to the maximum depth of 20 cm is then excavated using the tray. This tray is removed before the pouring cylinder is placed in position over the excavated hole. The excavated soil is carefully collected and weighed to the nearest gram. The moisture content of the excavated soil shall be determined by the method specified in IS 2720 Part 2. Alternatively, the whole of the excavated soil is dried and weighed. The pouring cylinder filled to the constant weight as described earlier is placed so that the base of the cylinder, the shutter on the pouring cylinder is closed during this operation. The shutter is then opened and allowed to run out into the hole. It is ensured that the pouring cylinder and the surrounding area shall not be vibrated during this period. When no further movement of sand takes place, the shutter is closed. The cylinder shall be removed and weighed to the nearest cram. This brings us to the end of the step-by-step -step process of conducting the field dry density test on the prepared layer. The field dry density of the bituminous layers such as DBM and BC is carried out on the extracted core with the help of the core cutting instrument. The extracted cores are subjected to dry density tests in the laboratory. The FDD of the extracted core is 98% of the laboratory Marshall test for both DBM and BC.